How's it going? Today I'm planning to compare the iPhone 13 Pro versus Apple's budget phone, the iPhone SE. Now this isn't supposed to be like a fair comparison or anything, it's just for the ones who has the SE and is planning to upgrade to one of the flagship phones. All right, let's do a quick microphone test. Testing one, two, one, two. This is how it sounds like on iPhone 13 Pro. Testing one, two, one, two. This is how it sounds like on iPhone SE. I know it's hard to tell the differences until you put them right next to each other and the iPhone SE does have a single lens, but I'm still gonna put them right next to the ultra wide angle lens and a telephoto on the 13 Pro so you guys can tell how useful those lenses can be. So I hope this comparison will be helpful to you guys if you're upgrading to the 12, 13, or maybe if you're waiting until the 14. So today's plans are pretty simple. I'm going to Walmart so I can do some grocery shopping. But before that, I do want to go to this gas station called Wawa to grab some lunch. David Amell, who does these podcast stuff with MKPHD, he said that Wawa has some pretty good sandwiches. So before I moved there, I never heard of Wawa before, so this one is gonna be my first one. And also, Walmart is somewhere back there, so that's pretty convenient. I'm gonna go there right after I eat. All I know is that things change, we find a way to make it through. Cause all we know is that things change, but it's not so bad. I ordered the grilled buffalo chicken sandwich and there's a lot of other ones I do want to try out so hopefully when I come back here or come back to Walmart, I'll make a little pit stop. And also there's no place to sit to eat so I'm going to try to eat this somehow and then I'll do some grocery shopping. All right, grocery shopping is done. And I do want to stop by this bubble tea shop before I head home. I actually haven't been back there ever since their soft opening. Last time I did try out their ube uh, mochi waffles, their ube latte, and some refresher drinks that looks very cool. Definitely Instagram picture worthy. This time around, I'm gonna be super basic, going for the regular milk tea. When iPhone SE came out, that was like my main phone for a very long time. And from my experience, it can easily work for anyone who just needs a basic phone. Now that I create more content, I really need the cameras or I would like to have the cameras on the flagship models. So whether I'm vlogging or when I'm doing point of view shots like opening doors or ordering off menus, the ultra wide angle lens is so useful. Or let's say the chef is making food and I don't want to get too close, I can use a telephoto lens. If you have the SE and you're fine with it, I don't really think you need an upgrade because the performance is still really good. 
And the price of the SE is not too bad either. You can pay a little amount of money to try the Apple ecosystem and see if you like it. But if you are planning to upgrade, you are going to experience a lot of improvements. The only area where you won't really feel the big jump is the performance because the iPhone SE does have a powerful chip and it can basically do what any other phone can do out there. So that is my comparison. If you do want to see blunt comparison tests, then head on over to my Instagram. That's where I do those polls and let me know your thoughts on these two phones. Are you still planning to upgrade or you're still going to wait until the iPhone 14? Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.